Hello, what is up friends? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Taylor Ray and my channel is about all things related to being a Brooklyn-based actor, athlete, and activist. I just got married and I'm here in the Seychelles. This is our first stop on our honeymoon. We have such an amazing honeymoon planned. I am so excited. So I'm really just gonna be vlogging around all the stuff that we do on our trip. We're here for three nights and four days before we go to Johannesburg and then eventually to Safari and then Cape Town and then French Hook and then take our amazing flight back home. I have a shorter video that's also gonna be in this playlist about our flight on Emirates. We flew business class. I'll also link it below and it'll pop up right there on the screen. It was an amazing flight. Honestly, mind-blowing. We traveled for 20 hours to get here and it was absolutely worth it. So let's get into it. Also, keep in mind, I'm staying at the Four Seasons Seychelles, and I will give you a room tour. I'll give you a tour of the resort and the facilities. It is an amazing resort. So if you're here just to see a little bit more of the property, you will also get that in this video. Oh, and make sure you like and subscribe. Let's go. We made it to the Seychelles after almost 20 hours of a journey and already looking out of the window from the airplane, you can see how absolutely beautiful this country is. We were going to Mahe, which is, I believe, the largest island of the Seychelles. We visit a couple others throughout this video, but we stayed on Mahe at the Four Seasons. We had a car pre-arranged through our travel agent. Our travel agent is over the moon, and they're linked below. They are amazing. This is actually when we got to the property. The Seychelles is super, super hilly, which I did not know. You're just going up and down the entire time. So around the Four Seasons, they have golf carts which they call buggies which will take you pretty much everywhere it was kind of a nightmare to try to walk we did it and I was not loving it with the heat and it was a no for me but once we got to the lobby it was beautiful it was an open-air lobby you could see a view of the beach they have one of the most beautiful beaches on the island and there it is This is a clip from the one singular time that we attempted walking and it was downhill so it wasn't too bad. And we got to our room. Our room was 309 Cinnamon Crescent and this is just the inside. I will show you the staircase leading to the room because that is a beautiful thing in and of itself. We had a picture from our wedding, from our travel agents, and everything was set up just so beautifully. And this is actually just their standard villa. They are all super, super premium. And I mean, that's definitely what you expect for the price point. I would say 309, the room we got, has one of the best views. Then we took a buggy to the spa. The spa is the highest point on the resort, and they open up the rooftop every day so you can see the sunset. Between the greenery, the beach, the sunset, and the property itself, I have to say the Seychelles overall was one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. We had dinner on the property this night. They call it Creole night. And it's like, they say a barbecue, but it's not really. You have this big family style tasting menu with a ton of local food. It was so good, but I do have to say the Seychelles overall was so expensive. Guys, it was probably the most expensive place I've ever been to in my life so that dinner I believe was 400 if not 500 US dollars little shocking <laughs> but let's not think about that let's just look at the walkway to get to our villa Thank you. 
All right, it's our first full day in the Seychelles. Breakfast is included, and you know I'm so happy about that because like I said, dinner every night was $400 to $600, which was a little bit terrifying, but breakfast was so good. I got this crab omelet a few times. They have great coffee, and they have just tons of stuff. The breakfast was great. Like, I was so happy to have this every morning. We had it all of the days that we stayed, and I believe it's included in every package. I think if you're staying here you automatically get breakfast included and that also included endless champagne mimosas whatever drinks you wanted as well so that's definitely a premium part of staying at the four seasons what i've learned through traveling especially on this trip is a lot of places in the world breakfast is automatically included in your stay so love that for me then we took a buggy down to the beach and the beach was absolutely beautiful the property overall is pretty small um, at the Four Seasons, but super beautiful, super exclusive vibe. We made it back to our room and decided to change and get ready for the day. Here's another little video of our walkway because the last one was at night. It was so long and just made everything feel so special. We had this little canopy with a bed in it and it was actually super comfortable and really nice and we spent some time hanging out there. Then we made it back to the room and changed because on this day we just spent all day on the property you'll see the next day we do take a boat trip and we leave the property so we really just wanted to enjoy it for this day and i'm glad that we did so richard got me a new camera as one of my wedding gifts and it's so funny because since this was our first stop you can see how shaky the video is both he and i were like so shaky using this camera which is really funny to look back on because it definitely gets smoother throughout the trip wow so so shaky but the beach is nonetheless gorgeous the pool was really beautiful i was surprised barely anyone was using the pool so that was kind of interesting but we went in the pool a bunch and then this was the only time that we ate lunch at the four seasons it was great but again super pricey this lunch you'll see it in a second we got two beers we got three plates and it came out to a little over 200 us dollars you can use seychellian rupees or you can use euros to pay for everything when you're in the seychelles um, but with the conversion at this moment the euro and the us dollar are equal so it was still about 200 euro a little over 200 euro for these three plates they were good but i was a little traumatized by the price point i'm not gonna lie After a very long relaxing day on the beach we made our way back up to the spa and we actually got a massage this time it was great they bring you to a separate like completely separate building it's like a private house where each separate person getting a treatment has almost this entire little house to themselves very beautiful and this is the view from the spa from inside and we're gonna go back up to the roof to see another sunset at sunset you also get champagne provided by the four seasons so that was really nice again like i said because this was super pricey i feel like living in new york i was like oh i'm used to things being expensive but honestly i i gotta say this was a once in a lifetime trip because it was our honeymoon but that price it hurt me it hurt me <laughs>
there are these giant bats all throughout the island and it was very much giving like dinosaur. It was massive. Another absolutely beautiful sunset. The view from here is really just so beautiful. Me being ridiculous per always. We ended up going back to the room and getting room service because we were so jet lagged. All right, it is a new day, and I have to say, this is definitely my favorite day of our time in the Seychelles, if not truly one of my favorite days of my life. We had transportation from the hotel, and they brought us to meet our boat. We used Creole Odyssey Boat Charter, and our travel agent also booked that for us. It was a private boat tour, and we went to La Digue from Mahé, and we also went to Pralin. And this boat trip was truly, like I said, one of the funnest days of my entire life. It was just so magical. You get on the boat in Mahe and then it's a little over an hour until you make it to your next island. And I've never been on such a small boat for so long. It wasn't teeny tiny, but it was just me, Richard, and two other people from the boat company. And it was very comfortable. We had drinks, we had beers on the boat, and it was just so so fun and honestly super magical this was our first stop it's actually a national park and we did some snorkeling i am low-key a little bit scared of snorkeling because just like seeing the fish underwater it does bug me out a little i'm gonna be honest with you <laughs> but it was so so cool i was brave i did it you see the right right there oh bad fish oh wow holy crap <laughs> oh wow After snorkeling, we jumped back on the boat and we stopped one other time to go swimming in the water. The water's so clear and beautiful. And then we made our way to our first stop, which was Pralin. Once we got to Pralin, we went to the UNESCO World Heritage Site, which is a national park. It's called Vaila de May. I'm definitely butchering that. I'm definitely fully butchering how to say that, but that's all I got. And you can see the Coca de Mer, which is like a giant seed there. I know that like sounds so random, a giant seed, but that's basically what it is. Okay. I don't know if you're gonna love this comment, but I think that it was cool. It was very much giving Jurassic Park. It was like giant trees. It was, you know, giving a little bit of hiking. We did pack sneakers in our bag, so we had those ready to go. But I really could have done, I could have done without this. I could have skipped, I could have skipped this. I think if you like love hiking, if you're that nature girly and you like, you know, I guess it's a once in a lifetime chance if I'm never gonna go back to the Seychelles, but, it was just fine. <laughs> I feel like that sounds, yeah, I mean, that's just how I felt about it. I think there were other things that I enjoyed way more. Um, so me and Richard kind of sped through that, got back on the boat, and we were instantly so happy once we got back on the boat. This was such a beautiful, beautiful, just like trip going from Pralin to La Digue. And I loved this. I was living my best life, just being on this boat, sitting, like feeling the wind on my face. All right, Ladig, 10 out of 10, five stars, highly recommend, you gotta go. We got electric bikes, e-bikes, which you also definitely need. Don't get a regular bike, get an e-bike. And this was our view. We rode around the entire island. We stopped for lunch and it was truly such a absolute highlight of the day. The entire island is beautiful. It's a little bit more quaint and more, 
I don't know, just like smaller than Mahe. So it's just a different vibe. Um, we had lunch here. And again, this is a great example because we were not even on the main island. We're in this little beachside restaurant. And the lunch here was also almost 20 to almost 200 euro. So, you know, it's pretty expensive everywhere you go. I think that there's probably places where the locals eat that I just have no idea about and pr probably you can get stuff for cheaper but even here it was pretty expensive but it was really good we had this lobster curry that was amazing and then of course we had to see the turtles like what are you doing going to the Seychelles and not seeing the turtles I didn't realize the turtles are also in a national park so we had to bike back to the other side of the island and pay a fee to go into the park I didn't know what I expected I guess I just thought they were like roaming around the Seychelles but that is not the case um, at least on this island you do have to go to like a sanctuary where you'll find them but you can feed them we were just feeding them leaves from the plants that were around and it was so cool seeing the turtles and then we got back on the boat to head back to Mahe On our final night in the Seychelles, we decided to do a special dinner. I actually didn't get any video of it, but I got some pictures. We did a omakasa at the hotel. It was so good, I highly recommend it. And we had a beautiful final night. In the morning, we woke up for one final breakfast at the Four Seasons, hopped into a buggy and made our way back to the airport. We were flying to Johannesburg because our next stop is our safari in Kruger National Park. And I can not wait. It is truly one of the coolest things I've ever done in my life. So I'll see you in the next video.